Hi friends, it's Robert, and I am incredibly happy to be back here with a brand new DIY project for you today. This video is actually part of Kin's Ultimate Cookie Collab, with 27 channels contributing their favorite Christmas cookie recipe. If you're not familiar with the collab, it started the day after Thanksgiving and goes all the way through Christmas Eve, launching a new recipe every day. Now you can view the entire playlist by clicking on the annotation or the link in the video description below. Now for my part, I want to show you some quick and clever ways to beautifully package up all of those delicious cookies so they can be safely shipped to family and friends. But first, let's talk about the type of cookies you can ship. Now those buttery, delicious, flaky cookies that crumble in your mouth, those are usually best given in person. And unfortunately, it's also true of those delicate cutout cookies you spend so much time decorating. Some cookies that do ship well are bar cookies, brownies, biscotti, sandwich cookies, any cookie that's a little bit sturdier. But even those cookies can end up in pieces if they're not packaged correctly. Now one of the best ways to ensure that all of your hard work doesn't end up as crumbs in the bottom of a box is with my two box method. And the concept is really simple. You've got an interior box that holds your cookies, you surround that with protective padding, and then you place it in a sturdy exterior box. This simple method is going to help increase the chances that your cookies show up in beautiful shape. Now let's begin by talking about the interior package because there's lots of room for creativity there. Most craft supply stores now have a food craft section, and there you can find pre-made packages to beautifully package up your baked goods. I found these really sweet craft boxes with a little cellophane window on top, just begging to show off the contents inside. So I'm gonna fill them with some really colorful macarons. I'll first assemble the box and then add a layer of crinkled paper. This is just gonna add an extra layer of protection. And then to keep all of those cookies from banging around against one another during shipment, I'm going to individually wrap them in clear cellophane. Cellophane is really easy to find in your local craft or hobby supply store. You can cut it down into rectangles and wrap it right around your cookie, securing it with a piece of tape. I'm going to take two pieces of decorative ribbon and tie it on either side. This makes a really sweet presentation. They almost look like giant bonbons. Go ahead, place them in the box, and close the lid, then do a little test. Give it a very gentle shake. If there's too much movement inside, you know you need to either add some additional crinkle paper or a few more cookies. Then go ahead, seal the box, and finish it off with some decorative ribbon. I'm also gonna add a gift tag to the top with a little message to the recipient. I found these at my office supply store, and you might wanna consider just taking out that plain white twine and replacing it with some red and white baker's twine. Now once your cookie box is all ready to go, we want to wrap it in some protective padding. Now there are a couple of obvious choices. You can use bubble wrap, which is recyclable, or you can use packing peanuts. And they now make a version of packing peanuts that are biodegradable, and I definitely would go with that option. But I found a little bit of a cute and quirky alternative in the holiday section of my craft supply store. There they sell these faux snow blankets. It's basically polyester batting with a little bit of glitter in it. People use them to decorate around the base of their Christmas tree or on their mantle, but it also makes a really inexpensive, excellent padding material. So wrap that around your cookie box several times, and this then we're going to place into a larger exterior shipping box. Now close the flaps and again, give it a gentle shake. If there's any movement at all, add a little bit more of that padding. Then you're ready to seal that exterior box, address it, and take it to the post office. I also want to tell you about one other quirky alternative for your cookie packaging. And this comes from an unexpected source, the hardware store. At the hardware store, they sell empty paint cans. They come in a variety of sizes, but primarily gallon and quart size. Take them home, thoroughly wash them, and they make great cookie boxes. And they also lend themselves well to being decorated. I'm going to take a couple of strips of paper in two different sizes in solid colors, wrap them around, and secure them with some clear tape. And then I'm going to finish it off with some decorative ribbon and a gift tag. Again, you want to add that layer of padding at the bottom using crinkle paper or bubble wrap. You can layer a piece of parchment paper between each cookie just to make sure that they don't stick to one another, or you can place them in individual cellophane bags, sealing them up with a twist tie. Once the can is full, place the lid on, give it a gentle shake to make sure there's no movement, and then it's ready to package just like we did the first one. So there you have it, a couple of quick and clever ways to package up your cookies so they can be safely mailed to your family and friends. 
Now you wanna make sure to check out all of the other videos in this collab series. There are some delicious cookie recipes I know that you're gonna to wanna to try. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna wish you a very happy holiday season and join me again in the new year for another great DIY project.